Now we'll be talking about what I have in my clipper kit, what I use, how I use them, and what's the purpose of the clippers. So, yeah, let's get into this. When I first open my barber case, the first thing I see is my twist buns. And this is what I use. It's the safest thing to use if you want to get the curly like looking top stuff like that I do recommend this um, you can disinfect this this is the reason why I bought it it may not have the same tension as a curl sponge but you can disinfect it so this is why you next I have my cape from illusion it has nice patterns on it it's a very good cape and you I mean it works it works well it does the job water resistant water repellent so when you spray the water on this you know straight hair cut then it uses that so I'm gonna start off with my clippers from the highest, the most expensive, all the way down to the cheapest that you can buy. So make sure you watch to the end because you may want to see what's the cheapest clippers and the most cheapest and professional grade clippers that you can use. Uh, so first I have my Andis Masters. Andis Masters are the staple of clippers and they came out with a cordless clipper last year. I think two years ago or last year. They came out with this last year and um, this clipper is very good, extremely loud. But I'm going to show you all how you can change that in the next video I'm going to post. But this clipper is very good. Good for taking out bulk. Uh, strong, powerful, lightweight. Believe it or not, it doesn't look lightweight. And it's a full metal casing. So for it to be lightweight, that's a good thing. I'll do a sound test for y'all. Yeah, so that's how the and this master sound. So next, I have my uh, bevel trimmers. They're making a they're making a kind of a, a name for themselves on social media. These clippers are not the best, to be honest with you, but they are good if you know how to prep the hair and you know how to if you take the right precautions. These clippers only cut with clean hair. However, I found that they're extremely good with taking off bulk, so that's the reason why I use these clippers. Next, I have the skeleton trimmers. They are probably the best wireless cordless trimmers out on the market now. I do suggest you buy them. $150 is pretty good because you won't have to take them to anybody and get them modified. You can do it yourself. They give you a tool to zero gap them and it's like, why not? They're good with taking out bulk also. Battery life is pretty good on here. Okay, next I have my wall magic clips. Wall magic clips are very good fading clippers. You can use these all day. You can use these as one clipper. Only clipper you use all day. They're very good. I do have the modification for to get the Andis blade on here, and it's not it's not very hard to do that. I do like the Andis system, so I sacrificed it using this because I do have wall seniors also. So there's no point in having two wall. It's just these were you know what I'm saying it's good to have this. They replaced the Andis NVLIs. If you watch my old videos, then you know I used to rely on the NVLIs heavy. So these kind of took over that when I put the wall Andis blade on it, and I. I I love these clippers now, man. Good, great for free handing. They're light, powerful, great, man. I really, I do highly recommend those clippers. Next, I have my Oster Fast Feed. I do recommend these clippers highly. They're going for about $130 right now because of this virus going on. Uh, I don't want to speak on that too much, but the prices of the price of this is going up. But I do recommend you wait a little bit to buy it. Probably wait a couple months, and the price is going to go back down to about $70. I believe I got these for $60. I bought them used and they were only used like once so it's perfectly fine I got them off of eBay and they're good for fading it's very quiet extremely quiet let me do a sound test for you all they, they literally just hum like they're very good very good for fading teeth on this blade is long so it doesn't you could get a nice stretch fade with these I, I use them every day in a barbershop because I like them a lot they're good for detailing and it's like why not use them it's just a it's a good all-around clipper I will replace them with the Andis Masters I, these are better than the Andis Masters too so last that I have in my clipper box I have the Andis T eyeliners the Andis T eyeliners are the best trimmers that were ever created and I'm not taking that back because they are the staple of clippers. They changed the whole barbering game. They changed the whole... I'm not going to give y'all a history lesson, but these are literally the best trimmers that you can buy right now. $60. The price does not go up on them unless you buy them modified. But half of the modifications that you see them selling for, you could do them yourself. So it's like, uh, save yourself some money and just learn how to do these simple modifications that people upsell them for. You could do it yourself at home and you could save a lot of money with it. Uh, these clippers, they're going to give you a sharp line on any type of hair um washed or not they're still going to produce the same type of work i highly recommend if you don't have these just get them and you'll see what i'm talking about 
you get them, you set them right, you're gonna get that barbershop quality that you want, that sharpness, precision. They get all, like, these clippers don't miss a beat, man. They don't miss a beat. The only thing bad about them is just that sometimes they do get hot. But if you're working all day and you have about two pairs of these, if you have about two pairs of these, I recommend that you buy two of them because you're gonna need two of them. I said I was only gonna go over clippers, but I'm gonna show you all some combs I have. I have uh, a carpet tooth comb. This is an extremely good comb. It has a section right here for parting. Very durable. Combs through mustaches. I, that's the comb I would recommend that you buy. Nothing plastic, but carbon is very good. It pick up hair extremely well. Uh, next, I have the wall combs. Just the wall regular wide tooth combs. These are good for, you gotta fade it out, a little bush or something, you got comb, you gotta fade it out. I say that you get these combs right here. These combs are very good. They won't disappoint you. Uh, they're cheap, they're about a dollar each. So it's like, why not? I have my pick. I like this pick better than the short tooth square pick. Um, just because it has more bounce to it, it's easier to keep the afro, you know what I'm saying? Keep it at the same shape. Cause when you have a short pick, it's kind of hard for you to go into the hair, pick it out, and kind of level it out. So I say you get this comb right here. I have some seven inch shears. These are $100 shears, not too expensive for shears. They do a great job. Uh, the person I bought them from is Phantom Edge Shears. He does a great job. If you ever need them, if you go buy them from him, and you ever need them sharpened, you just send them to me a dollar for free, and you get them back. As far as enhancements, I use top and hair fibers. I don't use too much. But I do want to get the pump that's see-through because it looks a little more classy. So it's like, why not get the pump that's see-through, classy, it's possible. Of course, I have my, my guards. I use my guards. I had this master guards a lot. For right now, it's in this case. I only will use these. But I also do have my wall guards. I have my premium guards. Uh, number zero guard. And I like to use door code blades. I'm sorry, this is just a trash one. I like to use Dorco blades. Dorco blades are my personal favorite. I highly recommend them. They're sharp. Uh, they're not expensive. You could buy like a big box of blades for about 10, 10, 15. I think you get 10,000 blades, something, a thousand, something like that. But yeah, it's it's just a good clip. I mean, not clipper, but it's just a good blade to buy. But I do have my Barber Magic Pencil. Barber Magic Pencil is the pencil to go to if you want that pop line, if you want that uh, ash line, that fake ash line for real. But it is a good pencil to use. That's all I have in my clipper case. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, go down and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, go subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers before the end of April. So if you all can do that, that will be great. Me on Instagram. I'm going to put the Instagram handle right here. Put it right here so you can see it. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. And hopefully I helped you all lean towards some clippers that you might want to buy. And in your price range. So hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all have a good one. Peace.